2021 i grew eight inches like this year your hair must grow yeah hmm. Hmm. this video i'm going to be telling you guys how i grew eight inches in 2021 and i want you guys to hop on the challenge okay i'll be twisting my hair from this bouncy knot that i lost because i carried it out yeah happy new year i forgot to wish you a happy new year 2021 i told you guys to participate in the hair growth challenge which i'll link in the icard and the description box and i participated the people that participated i could not follow everybody up because my instagram account got hacked i lost my flash drive like everything wasn't just working well but i was so happy i started it because this year i'm going to be very very serious with you i really want you guys here to actually grow because in 2021 i grew eight inches like Hey, Where am I? My mom just said I should be going to church. I'll do this video when I come back. I'm not sure the brightness will be as good as this, but we'll still do it. I feel destabilized to even start this video, but I'm going to start. I don't even care. I just have to do the video. I really want to appreciate you guys that participated in 2021's hair growth challenge. I'm so sure you guys are going to grow your hair this year because I'm going to be following you guys up because I want to encourage you guys to push yourself and because of that i'm going to start hair consulting this year the person that wins this hair growth challenge because i told you i'm going to be following up every month that's 12 times a month 12 times in the year i'm going to give the winner a free hair consulting session with me at the end of the year so that the person can grow his or her hair through the next year back to today's video there are seven things i'll be talking about here i have on my book in my book seven things i want to emphasize on the remaining things i want you to do in this hair growth challenge i already stated them in my bullet journaling for hair growth video which i will link also the bullet journaling video i did i said all the things i want to do to grow my hair all the strategies i'll be doing but these seven strategies i want you guys to make sure you do the seven things i'm stating in this video i wanted to show you guys my breakage i had since april the amount of shedding now I'm feeling deep fish, oh. Now, wow. The amount of shedding I have gotten. Shedding is different from breakage. Breakage and shedding. Breakage is when you do things that makes your hair get tangled up together. Because you know type 4 hair is liable to get shrunk or shrink or shrinkage or whatever you want to call it. So, when your hair is matted, that's the word. When your hair is matted together, your hair is liable to tie into knots. And when you are combing it, it is going to cut away. So that's what we call breakage. Now, shedding, on the other hand, is when a long part of your hair sheds because it's part of the hair cycle for your hair to shed. When it gets to the anagen phase, it's going to shed away. I'm going to drop the whole circle, but if you don't understand what I mean, I already said this in how to create your hair regimen in the video. But basically, a time will come when your hair has gone to a certain length and so long and it just has to break away for new hair to grow. So, I experienced a lot of shedding than breakage and that's why this bag is full. I'm going to bring it out. I feel like Jaden Smith carrying his hair. You brought your hair. Wow. As an accessory I to did. a party. I did. I really did do that. See this. Can you see? This is the amount of hair I lost. The audacity for me. <laughs> it's part of growth. I'll just remind you that if you are natural, particularly if you are type 4 or type 4B and 4C, you are liable to have parted hair. You are liable to have shrinkage and you are liable to have breakage. It's part of hair growth. It's just that you have to manage your breakage. And I already talked about this in the tips I gave for 13 mistakes you are making that is hindering your hair growth. I talked about that in in this video if you can't avoid breakage you should reduce breakage to promote hair growth try more protective hairstyles in my bullet journaling video i told you guys that i'm going to okay, i'm coming i want to be twisting my hair as i'm doing this video it's already past four o'clock i must do this video whether my enemy likes it or not as i was saying in my bullet journaling video for hair growth i told you guys that i am going to try to avoid putting extensions into my hair even if i'm going to put extensions into my hair i am only going to use crotch crotch down, down. crochet crochet crotchet or whatever you call it i noticed it from different big natural hair youtubers that's what they do 
even if i'm going to braid my hair with attachment or canicillon hair or braiding hair i am going to use conditioner on my hair to avoid breakage now this tip is very important like very important super important very 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 important if you are not subscribed to my channel i did a poll and i asked you guys to pick between lco and loc which one of them you use and most people chose lco method in the poll i kept an additional option in case you don't understand what lco or loc is and over 33 percent of people that voted chose that they don't understand the term or the concept loc or lco and i've explained this over and over in my channel so i was so stunned in case you are new to my channel and you don't know what lco means or loc means lco means applying liquid then conditioner then oil loc means literally liquid then oil and conditioner it's basically a styling method that was developed in natural hair com community for people with low porosity and people with high porosity hair <laughs> people with low porosity hair are people that it's hard for them to get hair products into their hair their hair is naturally dry very very dry but the problem is that before the product dries out of their hair it's going to take time that's why you see that if you are low porosity if you do a wash and go or a twist out or you wash your hair the water is going to stay in your hair and not like get dry by the time you start it's going to take time time to air dry but people that are high porosity it's easy to get products into their hair but the products leave their hair very fast people that are low porosity they try to avoid protein and people that are high porosity they need more protein to strengthen their hair <sighs> as i said this part is very important and you have to understand it. protein is good for hair growth protein is what accelerates hair growth but people that are low porosity they have to run away from protein because protein will make their cuticle stand like it can damage their hair if it's too much if there is protein overload if it damages their hair it can lead to breakage i'm low porosity that's why i see i really do hair treatments on my channel but what i do is that i try to strike a balance between moisture and protein now if, if you are high porosity and you are watching this you need to add more protein to your hair regimen i already talked about how to create a hair regimen in this video so this video will not be too long because i feel like i'm talking too much another thing that i'm going to be implementing in 2020 which i want you guys to also implement is a nighttime routine i told you guys about the research i did this scientist talked about how brushing affects keratin and keratin helps hair growth your teeth your teeth you don't maintain a good tooth care or teeth care you are liable to have hair loss go and watch my bullet journal video you understand what i mean you are liable to have hair loss if you don't maintain the keratin in your teeth so i maintain a good skin keratin as you can see my face is at least better i can say at least i can testify to the goodness of the lord <laughs> maintain a nighttime routine just two simple things you maintain a good brushing routine and a good skincare routine skincare you don't have to have your baths but if you want to you can have your baths your edges are the most fragile part of your hair and they are close to your face now by the time you are maintaining a good skincare routine you'll be able to moisturize your edges every night than just moisturizing during the daytime and you'll be able to remove germs and bacteria and fungus that is in your edges during the daytime when you maintain a nighttime routine which will help your edges grow back faster that's why you guys can see that my edges are going back i will never tell you that anybody's routine works for anybody because everybody is different everybody's hair type is different i always use my family as a very very good analogy me and my siblings share the same parents but our hair types are different is for you to develop a routine with the season now we have 12 months in a year and in those 12 months we have in a year we have different seasons we have winter we have hamatan we have autumn we have spring we have summer so you have to work with the um seasons when you work with the seasons you'll be able to know your routines for example your winter routine is going to be different from your summer routine you know that oh during the winter time i'm going to be wearing more protective hairstyles than when i'm than during the summer time or spring time where i can style my hair in a puff because you know the atmosphere at that season is going to be harsher so you have to understand seasons that's how you have to flow with your routine this year hope you are noticing them down trust you speaking of that the next thing i want you to do is to get a bullet journal this year is no jokes like i'm coming in for you guys this year your hair 
must grow it is a must in quotation your hair must grow so you must get a bullet journal if you don't know what a bullet journal is just get a book and a paper i write all these things i'm telling you so you follow them and you maintain your routine now let me explain something to you we have 12 months in a year these are the times i'm going to check my hair length and see oh my hair has grown this long or my hair did not grow or my hair became shorter or i trained so 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 amount of hair let me show you guys through my 2021 blood journal this is my hair growth journey spread and i measured my hair almost every month <laughs> january my hair was 17 to 20 inches in february i did not i skipped it i did not measure my hair i think i was on a protective hairstyle or something march i trimmed my hair because I had a lot of knots from a slick bun I did. So my hair was 19.5 to 22 inches. In April, I trimmed it again. I trimmed one, one to two inches out of my hair. In May, my hair was 20 inches at my back. In July, I skipped it. In sorry, in June, I skipped. Sorry for skipping June. In June, I skipped. I skipped measuring my hair. June, July, my hair was 22 to 23 inches. But I trimmed it a lot. August, my hair was 23.5 inches. After I trimmed it again, then I trimmed my hair a lot. <laughs> September, I skipped it. October, I skipped it. Why did I skip it so much? Okay, I was busy September and October. I just got back home, so I, I was busy with house chores. November, I deliberately skipped it because I wanted to do this video and the bullet journaling video. And before I did this video, I measured it for the bullet journaling video. By December, my hair was 25 to 26 inches of length. I went from 17 to 19 inches to 25 to 26 inches of length in one year that's like six to eight inches i, I did not even know but that's growth that's what i want for you guys this year get a bullet journal even if your hair grows shorter you'll be able to figure out what happened and why your hair grew shorter the next thing is to like this video really you have watched to this amount and you have not liked the video like why it's not fair number one on my list is for you to start afresh that's why i said this year we're going to <laughs> when you say glow up this is level glow up this is level up level up 2.0 hair growth my hair is going to turn six this year and you guys know that my next hair my next milestone is to grow my hair to tailbone length make sure you check the video where i talked about the mistakes you should drop in 2021 if you want to grow your hair like a, a big shout out to damaris i saw her comments on my live chat recently i really appreciate that 